Welcome back everyone. In this video uh, we're gonna follow along with what we started uh, especially in the previous video we draw a, a, a very simple geometry and we practiced on different type of um, coordinates and how to enter in absolute versus relative coordinates. Um, today we're going to practice on the same concepts by working on two different geometries. Um, also we're going to introduce some new commands like rectangle and break. Uh, the break command works similar to trim but it's a little different and we're going to talk about it. Okay, let's go back to AutoCAD. So this is the previous geometry. Um, we draw it in two different ways. Um, after we draw the entire thing, we copied it uh, uh, and also moved it to a different location. Uh, we use the raise command. Um, we also draw a line at the middle. We trimmed uh, and erased the lower half and we mirrored the top half with respect to the center line to create the lower half. So for any geometry in AutoCAD, there are multiple ways to draw it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save that. And I'm going to go ahead to the gate, click on New. And uh, I'm going to grab my ACAD.dwt um, template file. Okay. I'm going to zoom out, pan it, find my origin. Okay. Make sure my um, dynamic input is on. I'm working on layer 0 and uh, my color, line weight, line type, everything is by there. Just the way um, I would like it to be. I'm going to go to layer 0 and change the line weight by clicking here. Change it to let's say 0.3. And OK, and it's XM. Grab line. Line rate is not showing up. Make sure you turn on this icon. OK, line rate is showing up. I go ahead and select all that, press race. Go ahead and grab the line. And um, I'm go ahead and X out from the previous drawing. OK. So, start point, we're going to assume that's the origin, and then we're going to draw the entire geometry this way, uh, in the counterclockwise direction. So, 5 is the length, the angle will be 90 minus 80, that will be 10, with respect to the positive x direction. So, line 0, 0, we'll start from the origin, length is 5 and press the tab key to switch to the angle angle is 10. okay i'm gonna press on f8 to turn on ortho right then click here or press f8 then move the cursor in this direction um this is 0.5 this is 2.5 this is 0.5 and so forth 0.5 press enter move the cursor in this way Type 2.5, press enter, move the cursor in this way, type 0.5, and continue. 2.5, move the cursor this way, 0.5, press on F8 to get out of the orthogonal mode. And again, the length of this is 5. With a tab key, you switch to the angle, as you see up there. The angle would be 170 if you do the math. And then you can either type C for close or just click there and escape. So that's the geometry. Um, we're going to go ahead and copy this. Copy in the previous video, we talked about copy command. Let's select the entire geometry. Press enter, grab um, a base point, and move it along x direction. Let's move it 
instruction type 10, press enter. So we moved this geometry, we copied this geometry, and at the same time, um, yeah, we copied it and moved it along X with 10 units. What we're going to do next, we're going to draw a line from the middle of this to the middle of this. If you don't have the middle object snap on, you can find your object snap, click on this little triangle, make sure your midpoint is on, and escape. So after that, we're going to trim, let's say, um, the upper half. Let's escape, select these from right to left, click on erase. We're going to use mirror. Um, we can select again um, from right to left, like this. We can select that. Select these two as well. Press enter. Or the right key of the mouse will work as well. At the bottom it says a specified first point to a mirror line. So that's first point. And this is a second point. And then erase source object, you can press no. Uh, no is default. If you press enter, it will accept no. And uh, so this demonstrates how you can draw the same geometry by only drawing the one half either top half or lower half and then mirror. And go ahead and select that and erase it. So that's the first geometry. We're gonna go ahead and move the entire thing. So let's go ahead and click on move. Select everything from left to right will work. Uh, 18 objects were selected. Uh, after objects are selected you can press enter. Specify base point specify that as a base point um, okay so let's move these objects along y direction so you can press f8 and yeah, move the cursor in this direction you can type say 10 press enter so we move those objects along y direction um, with 10 units so now we're gonna practice on a second uh, mini project. Uh, we can start from this point and we can either move uh, you know, counterclockwise or clockwise, either one is fine. Uh, we can go ahead and we're gonna draw one half of this. So uh, we can draw the left half or right half and use mirror. Okay, uh, either one is fine. So we're gonna draw counterclockwise. We're gonna draw clockwise, uh, but only half of it. And we're gonna start from here. So the length of this line is one, and the angle is sixty. And we're gonna move forward. So grab line, and you can start pretty much from anywhere. Okay, but uh, to make it Neat. Uh, let's assume the apex is the origin. Okay, just uh, for the fun of it, line zero comma zero. Okay, press F eight to get out of the ortho mode, and so this will be one angle. That'll be. Um, that will be 60. Right? So that's this long. So 3 angle 9. So that's this long. And you've got 2 in the angle. Uh, this angle is 60. So this angle will be 60 as well. So two and sixty. Okay. Then the rest we can turn on also by pressing F8. And you've got 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Uh, 
Okay, point five, point seventy five. So point five. Move the cursor this way. Type point seventy five. Point five. Point seventy five. And we can move. Uh, we can draw only half of this, so that'll be point five. And uh, you can draw this line. You don't have to, but you can. Let's press escape. And then you can use mirror. Select from, let's say, left to right. Press enter or the right key of the mouse. So as you see, you can move this up a little bit. You can see the history. Nine is selected. Um, after you press enter, after you're selecting those elements, you can specify first point of the mirror line and then second point of the mirror line and erase source object. Now as default, you press enter and that's it. Let's go ahead and delete that line. One more. Okay. Well, um, this sums up this video. Um, actually, I want to cover um, a command that we're going to use later, a rectangle and break. So we could draw this with a rectangle at the middle, then trim the extra spaces. Okay. So for instance, when you um, draw a rectangle, you need to select two points, just like that. Um, you can also enter coordinates. So when you grab rectangle, you can select the coordinate of the first point, 0, 0, like that. And the opposite point in the diagonal uh, line, so the opposite point can be, let's say, 4, 2. Press enter. So that's 4 by 2 rectangle. We're going to use this command um, a lot in later projects. Also, um, if I go ahead and draw something, um, some complex geometry that intersects itself a lot, escape. Break command works similar to trim command. However, um, um, for break, you don't need to have a knife or intersection, so you have two different kind of breaks. So click on, let's click on a break um, that, that works between two points. So let's break this line. Um, you need to select the object, but where you select is important. So where you select, so as you see, you can when I press F3 to turn off object snap, we can simply click there. Okay. See the second point I click, it's gonna break in between. Let's practice on this again. Break. On this object, also where you click is gonna be the first point of the break. Second point of the break, okay? Uh, you can also snap to intersections or endpoints to break as well. The, the second break is used for dividing a, a, an object. So this requires, um, you know, where you click is very important as well and it will split the object into two different elements. Let's click on that. And uh, so this is the object I want to break but at this point, so I'm going to press F3 to turn on object snap. Okay. And then I'm going to click here. So right now, this line is turned into two different lines, as you see, one and two. Let's practice on this again. Break. Well, before doing that, I escape. See, this is a single object, single entity. I'm going to break it into two different entities at this point. Let's do that. Modify, break. This is the object, right? But split it at this point. 
click there. You see now, this is one and this is a second. So we divided a single line into two lines at this point. Okay. I'll go ahead and delete this. Uh, and uh, this pretty much sums up uh, what I want to cover in this video. Um, I hope it was useful for you. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel here to support this channel. Thank you.